Today, I'm creating NFL teams based on position, starting with a team of quarterbacks all the way up to a team of kickers. Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson are leading the team of quarterbacks. Derrick Henry and Nick Chubb are the best players for the running back team, and so on. I want to see which position has the best NFL players, so we're going to simulate one season to find out. So comment down below what position do you think will have the best record? Me personally, I'm going to guess tight ends because they're big and they can play, you know, running back and all the way up to the end and also if you want a chance to win a free copy of madden 25 or college football 25 make sure you subscribe to the channel we're trying to hit 25k and follow me on instagram that's where i give away the codes so we have 10 different teams each team being a position so starting off with quarterback we put all of them on the chicago bears now patrick mahomes is going to be the starting quarterback for this team at a 99 overall and for running back we're going to have lamar jackson it just makes the most sense he's the fastest quarterback in the league and we got joe burrow and bryce young as the backups they're not going to get too much playing time but you can see there's 60 overall players i didn't mess with anybody's rating all i did was just change their position and you know put them to fill the roster so for wide receiver we have josh allen who's our best one at a 42 overall which is pretty rough we got Dak prescott kenny pickett bo nicks justin herbert and will levi like the jeans that i uh, just purchased the other day at tight end we got jalen hurts you know an undersized tight end only six foot one i was gonna put josh allen there but i feel like josh allen would be a good receiver uh for us instead we got two attack raviolia at tight end backup and gardner Minshew. they're both gonna be 12 overalls and for our offensive line it's gonna look pretty rough as you see i'm going through I made sure I didn't, bro, this took me two days to make this roster. It took me two days, so you better drop a like, bro. Hey, we gotta hit a thousand likes. I didn't miss a single beat. I paid attention to the detail, man. We got Jordan Love at right tackle, Matthew Stafford, and CJ Stroud being our defensive ends. Look, Mike Hall's in here because I think it's a glitch. The roster filled, let me release him real quick. There's like a minimum number of players that have to be on a roster, so it probably just auto-filled a couple. But yeah, we got Baker Mayfield at, at defensive tackle, 215 pounds. We got Trevor Lawrence and Anthony Richardson, Jaden Daniels, Desmond Ritter as our linebackers. Now for cornerback, I had to pick quarterbacks that were faster. So we got Kyler Murray, who has 92 speed. We got Justin Fields, Deshaun Watson's here, Michael Penix, and then uh, Jacoby Brissett. And then at safety, Russell Wilson and Drake May. And even at kicker, we got uh, JJ McCarthy and at punter, Jameis Winston. And that makes the team a 21 overall team with a 26 offense and 17 defense. Now I did simulate one preseason game to make sure everything ran smooth and we ended up losing it 28 to 24, which is kind of crazy that we even scored that much. Our next position is running back. We put all of them on the Cincinnati Bengals. So our best player is gonna be Nick Chubb and Travis Etienne because they kept their position. But at quarterback, we got Derrick Henry and Ezekiel Elliott. Now I put Derrick Henry at QB because in ultimate team, he always has a out of position quarterback card. I don't know why though, because he's only a 12 overall. Like there's no good running backs that could pass the ball. So yeah, both of them are chopped. It's going to be a run heavy team, which might work to their advantage. And at wide receiver, we got Christian McCaffrey. It makes sense. He's a receiving back as well. He could catch really good. Saquon Barkley, Aaron Jones, Joe Mixon, Josh Jacobs, and Kenneth Walker. And at tight end, it's going to be a rough one for us. We got Austin Eckler, Isaiah P uh, Pacheco, and then Brian Robinson, not the biggest players. Our blocking shouldn't be too bad. Although it is 28 overall, 26, you know, the 20s. They are used to blocking for the quarterback, but it's usually not against defensive ends. So it's going to be a little different. And then defensively, our players are nothing too crazy. Najee Harris is a big guy. And then cornerback, it's looking rough for all of them. They're not built to play cornerback. They're 220 pounds. You got to be lighter than that. But yeah, this is the team for the running backs. And that puts them at a 35 overall, which is better than I expected. Next up is the team of wide receivers, which I think will do pretty good. They're pretty versatile. You could play cornerback. You could play linebacker safety if you're a wide receiver. So I feel like this could work out pretty well. At quarterback, we have Tyreek Hill. Now, I'm surprised because a lot of the times when you play high school or college football, if you're a quarterback in the NFL, sometimes they just put you at wide receiver, right? Um, there's a lot of examples like that. Julian Edelman but he's not in the league. But yeah, Tyreek Hill is only a 12 overall. I figured he'd be a good quarterback to have because he could scramble out the pocket and, you know, get past everyone. At running back, surprisingly, Justin Jefferson stayed at a 99 overall. And even more surprisingly, CeeDee Lamb went up. No, I think he was also 99 overall. So yeah, they changed positions and were still just as good, which is a huge advantage for this Buffalo Bills team. Wide receiver is going to be good, of course. We got St. Brown, A.J. Brown, Devontae Adams. And then, like I said, this roster took forever for me to make. So I didn't bother, like, 
making these guys any better it didn't really matter tight end we got blessed that jamar chase he, he stayed at 97 overall like he didn't lose any overalls because of changing position which is crazy our o-line though not gonna be too crazy mike evans i figured he's 6'5 it'd be good to have on the o-line keenan allen he's 6'2 but defensively our defensive ends kind of bad but we're gonna have good linebackers no we're not hold on good cornerbacks zay flowers only a 49 overall but his speed should help him in his catching you gotta keep in mind too none of these teams are gonna be able to pass good except the bears because they're all out of position so it doesn't matter too much that these guys are lower overall ratings but yeah dk metcalf you know he's gonna be a good defensive player t higgins all a bunch of big guys here and that's safety debo samuel and michael Pittman with a 39 overall kicker and 37 punter and that puts the wide receivers at a 45 overall team next up is the team of tight ends which i predicted would be the best team because i figured they'll be the most well-rounded all of them are like 6'3 and up so at quarterback we're gonna have travis kelsey he surprisingly stays at a 36 overall when you transition him to a qb i don't know how but i'll take it a 6'5 quarterback is gonna be great running back we got george kittle mark andrews who both are 88 overalls I guess because they're big. It has to be because of that, bro. Zach Ertz, I guess they're like slower Derrick Henrys in a way. That might have been a crazy statement. But yeah, you know me, I know ball. Wide receiver wise, we got Hawkinson. I will say I'm surprised that the ratings kind of dip down for being a receiver. I guess they can't, they don't have that good release speed, which is important for a wide receiver. Tight end, we just kept my boy Sam Laporta from the Lions. And then these guys, I didn't bother changing them. They were just already tight ends. Our blocking is gonna be the best out of most teams, man. We got, you know, Dallas Gogert. We got Dalton Schultz, Kyle Pitts, who's a 50 overall, Cole Komet, Friar Muth. And then defensively, not gonna look the best for us, but uh, cornerback wise, Taysom Hill. He is one of those players that is a unicorn. Obviously, we all know him. He played quarterback before as well. But because he's 6'2", he's pretty agile. I figured he'd be a good cornerback. I could have made him the QB. Low key, I should make him the QB. I'm gonna make him the QB. Now that I think about it. Yeah, he's a 69 overall quarterback, which is gonna be a huge advantage for this team. I'm gonna put Travis Kelsey at, uh, at cornerback now. I forgot they have that huge advantage, bro. So yeah, that's gonna change things a lot for this team, make him even better. Jonu Smith is gonna be a free safety. And then our kicker is gonna be Brock Bowers, the rookie out of Georgia. And for the tight ends, they are a 48 overall team with a much better offense than defense. Our next team is gonna be the offensive linemen. So it ranges from players that are left tackles, left guard, centers, right guard, and right tackle. I put all of them on one team. So the best of the best, we got at quarterback, Trent Williams, who is a 12 overall. That man's not gonna be able to pass a single ball, honestly. And once you realize that the quarterback is so garbage, the wide receivers don't even matter. They're going to be running it a lot. But the issue is the running backs are all 12 overalls. It's going to be tough. Yeah, wide receiver. Taron Armstead is their best one. I'm not sure why he is the only person to be a, not a 12 overall. Don't know what he has. That's different, but it's working. Tight end. Frank Ragu is going to be our tight end from the Lions. And uh, yeah, he transitioned pretty well to a 92. Our O-line, of course, I, I, is going to be really good. It's going to be our strongest uh, suit which is actually a huge advantage for us. But I don't know, we can't pass a run, so it doesn't really matter. Defensively, you can see the players that we have right now. Nothing too crazy. Linebackers are garbage. The cornerbacks are gonna be the worst that we're gonna see because they're all slow. And then free safety and strong safety is trash. And a 40 overall kicker is kind of impressive, to be honest. So for the offensive linemen, they are a 37 overall team with no defense. Our next position is gonna be defensive ends and defensive tackles. So we have players like Cameron Hayward. Well, actually look, our quarterback is gonna be Max Crosby, who's a 12 overall. Running back is gonna be Micah Parsons. I feel like he's one of the most athletic ones out of all the defensive ends. So he's a 66 overall, which is great. 91 speed is perfect for, his, for this. Nick Bose is a 24. That man, yeah, yeah, that's tough for him. Ed Oliver, crazy choice to have a running back, but yeah, he's 287 pounds. I don't know why I put him at running back. Wide receiver, only Josh Allens. He's for some reason a 52 overall, but the rest are like 20s and under. Again, I don't know why. Uh, I really don't. His catching is a 74. That's why. I don't know why he's a 74 catching at defensive end. But that's cool. Tight end is going to be Chris Jones. I got to release this guy real quick. But yeah, Chris Jones is 28 overall. You would think our offensive line wouldn't be too shabby because they're defensive linemen. It's just the opposite side. But no, it's a different skill set. That's why they're all 50 overalls. And then defensively, we kept Cam Jordan at that same position, Cameron Hayward, Jonathan Allen stays, and then linebackers wise, they transitioned pretty well. Like Christian Wilkins is an 81 overall, Kenny Clark's at 80 overall. At 314 pounds, it's pretty good for a middle linebacker. DeForest Buckner is 6'7". Damn, that's crazy. 
And then uh, cornerback, Hassan Reddick. Yeah, he stayed. He's pretty lean. But the rest of these guys, I'm actually surprised that they, yeah, I mean, they're defensive ends. That's why. But still, it's pretty impressive to keep this high overall. And then Montez Sweat at a 75 free safety. And Aiden Hutchinson, my boy. You know, hopefully he recovers from that injury quick. Yeah, he's 80 overall strong safety. I'm actually impressed with this team. So for the defensive linemen, they are a 56 overall team with a really good defensive rating. Our next team is the team of linebackers. So left outside linebacker, middle linebacker, and right outside linebacker. Uh, this is actually be a good team. Quarterback though is gonna be rough. TJ Watt, he can't throw to save his life. Running back wise, Fred Warner, he has 88 speed, which helps him. I thought Dallas Turner would be better because he is a 90 speed player, but he's a 20 overall. So that didn't really help at all. Wide receivers, we got Kyle Duggar. That's a big one. You would think they have the ability to catch so they'd be a good receiver, but nah, bro. I mean, Levante David, he gets picks all the time, but only a 25 overall wide receiver. Tight end wise, Khalil Mack. I got to get rid of this guy. He's not a real tight end or a linebacker, but Mack is 34 overall. And then blocking wise, it's going to be nothing crazy. All 40 overall players. We got Bobby Wagner in there. Defensive ends though. You know, the transition between linebacker to defensive ends is going to be smooth. So you can see we have Matt Milano, 83 overall, 80 overall, Dre Greenlaw in them. Our linebacker is going to be solid, of course. And cornerbacks, Patrick Queen is actually our best one at an 81 overall. That works out good for us. Free safety to Davion Clowney at an 82. And then our kicker is a 40 overall. So not bad. And they actually end up being a 54 overall team. Now we have the team of straight up cornerbacks, just defensive backs, not free safeties, just cornerbacks. So our QB, give me Sauce Gardner. I'm surprised that he can't throw at all, man. 12 overall is crazy. Running back though is Jalen Ramsey, a 74 overall. That's better than actual running back ratings. So yeah, 92 speed, 95 acceleration. His change of direction is good. It actually makes sense that he'd be a good running back. Patrick Sertain is only a 68 though. And then wide receiver wise, I was very surprised. You would think, you know, the two-way players, the Travis Hunters of the world, this should work out really well, but nah, none of them got past a 55 overall. I was really surprised to see that, man. I was actually kind of disappointed. And then tight end wise, uh, that's not it. Now I gotta get rid of Cade. But it's gonna be Marlon Humphrey at a 35 overall. Our blocking is gonna be pretty garbage. You know, they're just not the physical specimens. That, you know, they're not gonna be good at blocking. They're too small. Defensive end wise, nothing crazy. Derek Stingley was actually a solid one for us. And Tredavious White is a good middle linebacker. And who else? Kendall Fuller. Of course, our cornerbacks are gonna be solid. Nothing crazy. And then free safety and strong safety. You got Jamal Dean in there. But yeah, this team is kind of iffy. They end up being a 53 overall team though. Now we have the team of, of safeties, free safeties and strong safeties. So at quarterback, it's going to be Jesse Bates the third. He's going to be our quarterback. Running back wise, Antoine Winfield Jr. is a 75 overall. Minka's a 71. I do like that. That's a good sign for us running the ball wise. Wide receiver, same type of thing. None of them are really good in the 50s and 40s. Our tight end is going to be Derwin James Jr. at a 44 overall. Let me remove this guy. Blocking should be decent. Nah, nah, all in the 30s. Yeah, that's going to be tough for us. But yeah, just going through the roster, you guys can see who we got. Jamal Adams at linebacker, Xavier McKinney. Cornerbacks are going to be good. You know, Jabril Peppers, Malik Hooker, and CJ Gardner stay in their position. And Dr Julian Love is our kicker. And they're a 53 overall team. Now we have our final team, the kickers and punters. Yes, so at quarterback, it's going to be Justin Tucker. I'm so surprised he's a 12 overall because every time you, you're in the depth chart in Madden, if, you know, after you're three QBs, it's the kicker. That's the, the backup quarterback. You think he'd be a higher overall. Why only a 12 makes no sense. But yeah, Justin Tucker, the OG, he's an old head. Running back wise, man, they can't run all 12 overall guys. One thing I noticed as well, if you, you, you're going to see what I'm talking about. When you just go through the roster, there's one like commonality between every single punter, every single one of them. You let me know if you see it in the comments. I'm not going to say it. You let me know if you see it um, with all the actual punters. There's one thing in common with them that really sticks out like a sore thumb. It's kind of crazy, actually, now that I look at it. But yeah, I mean, in the comments, you can tell me what you think it is. But they're awful. A one overall team. I, I didn't think it, it could even go that low. A one overall team is crazy. But you never know. They could get the extra points, the field goals, and win games off of that. So obviously, these rosters are as close as I can get them. I spent two days making this roster. So if you see some players that are missing or maybe someone snuck in there, bro, I tried my best. It's like a 95% accurate roster for every position. And if you're wondering what I did for the rest of the 22 teams in the league, I'll show you what I did. Basically, I made all of the quarterbacks for those teams garbage. 12 overalls across the board for every team. Um, Actually, nope, some of these guys slipped in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I'm, I'm gonna fix that real quick though. Because I wanna make the playoffs with these uh, teams by position, it's gonna be tough to do it if you have actual good teams in the league. So with that being said, I'm just gonna simulate to the regular season and we're gonna see how things look. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, I'm just looking all already. For the Browns, I think they were the offensive lineman team. In their preseason, they played against real NFL teams. They got blown out every single time. 0-89, 0-54, and 0-59. So realistically, no matter what I do, we're probably not gonna make the playoffs. So I guess the best way to gauge what position is the best is by the end of this season, we're gonna compare who has the best record between all the positions and who had the best stats. But because I do wanna get gameplay with each of these guys, we're gonna hop into a game with each team. So starting off with the Bears, the quarterback team, we're up against the Titans at home. And on top of that, whenever we have a game between like the quarterbacks and the receivers, I'm gonna hop in those games and watch it too because I feel like that'd be interesting. But just out of curiosity, I wanna see in our first drive with the Bears is third and five. I feel like Lamar Jackson is the only person that can save this team. It's gonna be a play action though with Mahomes looking to Lamar who catches it, but only for a yard. And how far are we gonna be able to punt it? Oh my God, that's a horrible, horrible five yard punt, if even that. Oh, it's gonna be a blowout, man. So like I, I did try to mix things up. So like for the Titans, their quarterback is a defensive end. I think I just put him at QB to make it, you know, tougher for them to win. So we have a higher chance to make the playoffs, but I don't know, bro. The way we started, I don't think it's gonna happen no matter what. But it is third and seven. So never say never. This man is scrambling out of the pocket. Okay, we're getting the ball back. I just want to see this drive before we continue simming. Maybe it's a close game in the end, but third and 10, Mahomes is taking his time and hey, oh, he dropped it. Who is that? Who dropped it? I don't even know, but man, you should be ashamed of yourself. Is that a, uh, that's Joe Burrow. That man can't catch. Hey, let's see if we can punt it for more than five yards this time. Come on. You got this from the 27 yard line and that's a much better punt to the 30, a 12 yard punt. That's, that's, that's better. Like actually, I could probably punt 40 yards. How can a QB not punt at least 30, you know? So let's just sim this game and see where things lead. We scored a touchdown somehow. Ho ho. What? Time out, time out, time out. Whoa, time out. I just saw Russell Wilson intercepted the ball for, bro, how do I see the plays? How do I see the plays? Time out. Okay, well look, Lamar Jackson had a one yard run for a touchdown and then McCarthy hit the extra point. But what's crazy what I just saw on the screen is that defensively, this man, where's he at? Don't hide, Russell Wilson. He had an interception, a 20 yard interception. That's pretty good. It would actually be crazy if we if we uh, make the playoffs with this team or even win this game, to be honest. They're gonna come back. Yeah, I don't think we have enough firepower. It was a fluke. It was a fluke, but 10 points for the QBs, man. I'm impressed. I didn't think we score any, but yeah, that man Mahomes had all those yards, but no touchdowns. I mean, Lamar Jackson ran for 83 yards, which is dope. And receiving wise, some of our guys did catch it. We got four catches for each of these guys. Joe Burrow was actually the only person to drop a ball in the entire game. All right, perfect. In week one, we have linebackers versus wide receivers. This one is gonna be a battle of the mid. I got I got the wide receivers winning it, bro. I'm gonna sim to the fourth quarter because I'm gonna assume it's gonna be zero to zero in the fourth quarter. This game might go into quadruple overtime and be one off a kick return somehow. But nah, whoa, 14 to zero, what's going on? How are the linebackers doing this good against the wide receivers? Nah, there we go, they scored, they couldn't get the extra point, and now we watch. Third and two, they missed the extra point, so it's an eight point game. What is the game plan? Tyree Kill, who is that? Who is that? That's Justin Jefferson. Well, things didn't really work out because the Cardinals got the ball back, but they're getting sacked, not gonna be a fumble. Third and 10, fourth and 10, they're gonna miss a field goal. Okay, with two minutes left, we gotta see what happens. We got sacked, so it's third and 20. Third and 20 from our own eight yard line. Every kill's left-handed, throwing a short pass, but that's gonna be no good. They gotta go for it, I'm pretty sure, yup. I don't know, I don't know if they got the, uh, the throw power to throw it deep, that's just horrible IQ, man. Yeah, this team's cooked. And it's gonna end up being the Cardinals scoring again. So the linebackers are on top right now. I'm surprised they did this good. 20 points is kind of wild. TJ Watt threw for 120 yards. Tyreek Hill couldn't throw for anything. Rushing wise, Fred Warner was their big player. He had 60 yards and two touchdowns. JJ, he had 60 yards and a touchdown, but he also had a fumble. And Khalil Mack, he had 44 yards. Okay, so after week one, it looks like the cornerbacks, yeah, the defensive backs, they ended up winning. We got, who else that won? It was just them and the Cardinals. So them and the linebackers were the only teams to win. All the other positions lost, of course. 
I wish I could have made my own like uh, my own schedule to where they just play each other. That would have worked out perfectly. But unfortunately in Madden, you can't do anything in this game. Like even going through the main menu screens, it's just so slow. You click on something, it takes 10 seconds to load up. It's not like 2K, 2K is so smooth. They got to fix this. But yeah, after week one, Taysom Hill, he actually had the most yards. He had 180 yards, which is pretty dope. Jesse Bates out of nowhere, man. The free safety, he had 180 yards as well. That man had four interceptions though. Damn, that's tough. Now, part of me, I'm just gonna sim to the midseason and just see how things are looking. You never know, maybe one of these teams is like undefeated or just is on their path to make the playoffs. I'd be shocked, honestly. I still think it's gonna be the tight ends that go all the way. I think it's gonna work out for them. But the linebackers, they impressed me for real. Even the cornerbacks, like who's throwing? Sauce Gardner, a 12 overall quarterback is throwing dots. So looking at the best teams after seven games, do I see any of our teams here? The Chargers are four and two. This is very, very interesting. I gotta check up on them in a second. But yeah, they're doing the best right now. Bears are three and three with the quarterbacks. They're three and three. The wide receivers are three and four. And who is the worst team? Are any of them undefeated? Yeah, the kickers, they are undefeated. Wait, do they have any points? They got three points in the season right now. They only have one field goal made the entire season and they've let up 461 points. That has to be the craziest. Yeah, that's gotta be, that's insane. That's an insane difference right there. Wow, because what is that? That's like a difference of at least 430 points. It's nuts. Even the Browns, man. The defense, the offensive linemen, they are undefeated and they've only scored three points, a field goal. That's insane. Meanwhile, the Chargers are one of the best defenses, which makes sense. They're all cornerbacks. They've only let up 73 points. They're one of the few teams that has more points scored than scored on. I mean, shoot, Taysom Hill's a top 10 quarterback right now with 1,400 yards to be expected, honestly. But what about for the Chargers? How are they doing? Yo, we got Jesse Bates is a top quarterback, 19 interceptions. Mahomes, that man, that man is not doing good, man. Only eight touchdowns so far. Derrick Henry, seven to 16. But Sauce Gardner, one of the worst quarterbacks in the league, 17 interceptions. Yo, what? Justin Tucker is the worst by far though. Zero touchdowns and 20 picks. Now Trent Williams, he threw 33 interceptions so far and this season's not even over. We're breaking records for sure. Now with the Chargers being four and three, I'm gonna pay extra attention to them. We're four and two, I meant uh, right now. Did we beat the Saints? No, we lost. We're four and three, but we're up against the Cleveland Browns. I gotta watch this game. Let's just sim to start. Who knows? Maybe the Browns score uh, their first touchdown of the year against against these guys. But nah, the way it's looking, yo, twenty one to zero. Nah, 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 nah. I gotta hop in and see. Twenty eight to okay, thirty five to zero. I'm imagining. I'm imagining pick sixes are happening a lot. Let me actually hop in and see. Yeah, yeah. Another interception. They have four turnovers right now, and we're at their four yard line. What's the play call? Sauce Gardner is gonna do a handoff to who? Don't even know. Oh, Jalen Ramsey. He has 140 yards, damn. Yeah, we probably have so many rushing yards. That man, Jalen Ramsey, might win MVP or Offensive Player of the Year. Look at Sauce though, taking it himself. I like that, that's actually dope. And is the extra point gonna be good? Let's see. Oh my God, that's horrible, nah. <laughs> what if they score off of this? Nah, they're too slow. Oh, this is an interesting simulation for sure. What about the kickoff? I feel like the kickoff, yeah, it goes nowhere. <laughs> oh man, I wanna see them on defense. That's what I wanna see. I wanna witness a pick six by Trent Williams as their quarterback. He's gonna hand it off up the middle, getting a few yards that actually worked out kind of well. Wow, 10 rushes for two yards is crazy. Let's try it again. Oh, he's gonna pass this time. He's gonna pass it. Oh, shoot, he dropped it. He was scared of the ball. <laughs> Come on, bro. Third and six. Make something happen, Trent. Make something happen. He gets sacked. Fourth and 14. Damn. They might be the worst punchers out of every position. There's no way a 300 pound guy that can't even see his own. Uh, no way. No way. No way. No way. Hey, let's get it. A return punt return for a touchdown. The blowout is crazy. I didn't think it'd be this big of a difference, honestly. 47 to zero currently. I think they're gonna score at least one more time. Yeah, 54 to zero and run it up. Hit 60, why not? Hit 61, yes sir. And this is the craziest blowout I've seen between the two teams. The quarterbacks right now are proven to be the best NFL athletes, the best position overall. Sauce Gardner, man, I gotta see his stats. He actually threw for a touchdown, which is surprising. He ended up running for a touchdown, what we saw earlier. But Jalen Ramsey, with five of them, 220 yards. Sheesh. That man Trent had six inter interceptions. Jeez, man. The fact that he completed nine passes is kind of wild, though. 
And then rushing wise, 11 times to run for three yards is insane. Now check it, we're somehow doing better than the Titans. They're two and six. If we lose to the Titans, I'll be upset, bro. I wanna be six and three and make the playoffs. Come on, wow, wow, we beat them 29 to 10. I gotta see the stats. They have like an actual NFL team, so it makes no sense the fact that Sauce Gardner threw more touchdowns than Lachavius Simmons. Okay, maybe that's why. Uh, I mean, he threw for 200 yards, though. That's kind of wild. But yeah, running wise, Jalen Ramsey didn't do anything crazy. I'm assuming it was defensively. We got a lot of interceptions. Nah, only two of them. I don't know how we won, but I'll take it, man. We're on the path to make the playoffs. How are the Bears doing? The quarterbacks. I mean, they're kind of creeping up there. They're five and four. The tight ends, which I predicted to be the best, are five and five right now. We still got like eight weeks left. We're eight and three. Dude, we're eight and three. We beat the Bengals 65 to seven, which were the uh, the running backs. We beat them 65 to seven. And the Ravens, which is an actual team, we still end up beating. I mean, we took away their best players, Lamar Jackson and Roquan Smith. But now we're up against the Falcons, who are the best team in the league, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let me see the standings. Oh, no, it's the Seahawks. Ah, oh, damn, there's a lot of, ah, oh, man. There's a lot of good teams. That's tough. Damn. Yeah. They got a lot of easy games. We're 11th. We're 10th right now. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to make it. Like literally every single game matters. I don't think we can afford to lose another game. And we just lost to the Falcons. So we're eight and four. The Chiefs should be a good win. I mean, they're six and six. The defensive, I think they're the defensive ends, I believe, or linebackers. I don't even know at this point. We lost to them six to three. Oh, we just fell off, bro. We just fell off. Oh, they're the free safeties. That's why. Very similar positions. That's why we lost. Sauce Gardner threw four interceptions. Of course, that makes a lot of sense. Ramsey didn't have a big game. Receiving wise, Patrick, he did good. But defensively, who got the most interceptions? It was, I mean, everyone had a pick basically. Damn, six to three is crazy though. All right, bump it. Let's just, oh, I want to see how the Colts play. We got to see the Colts. Well, they're 0-13. No surprise there. And we're going to be up against the tight end. So this would be a good game to hop into. I'm expecting the tight ends to steamroll them. All right, we got one touchdown, two touchdowns. It's supposed to be like a 50-0 to zero type of game. And so far, they're almost on pace. It's 27-0. to zero. There we go. Come on, run it up. Run it up. 41-0. to zero. And I want to watch this game now. So it's actually fourth and nine. And you would think that, you know, they're actually this is the actual punter. So the punch should be good. There we go. Our first good punt that we've seen. There we go. But defensively, I mean, low key, it should be one play touchdowns every time. If if uh, Travis Kelce could throw, or no, Taysom Hill is the quarterback. This should be deep balls every time. Or is that even Taysom Hill? I can't even tell. I mean, it should be him. He is the quarterback for the team. Why are they running this formation? Okay. Hand off. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa. Okay. Who is that? George Kittle for 122 yards right now. Give me another hand off up the middle again. He's trying to secure the ball. I don't know why. Just go for as many yards as you can. But I do want to see a pass. I want to see them actually pass the ball on these weak defenders. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. He's, he's off. Huge run right there, man. This is crazy. There we go, a pass play, Taysom. Yes, sir, to George Kittle. He's gonna catch that, and will he get in there? Oh, one yard short. He has 330 yards though, four touchdowns. I didn't realize he was cooking this much. There we go, it's touchdown time, baby. This, this drive was brought to you by George Kittle. We've gotta see how the kickers and punchers do on offense. Let's go, first pass is, is actually a good pass. Wow, that was actually a good pass, wow. I thought he was throwing it to nobody, but it turns out he was just pass leading way ahead of time and kind of cooked again in the middle. Nice catch. These guys are doing their thing. Justin Tucker, 50 yards. As you can tell, these kickers have no drip at all. They basically have no sleeves, nothing in the pocket. He's about to get sacked. Not a fumble though. Second and 19. Now the pressure's on. Oh my God, a fumble. Hey, pick it up. Oh, he should have went all the way with it. Oh wait, he can. He got back up. <laughs> It has a touchdown. Oh, man. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, it's to be expected, man. Gerald Everett, he's been cooking up. All right, so end of the regular season, and we have three teams that are 16-1, and one, and the worst team is going to be the Browns and the Colts. But who did worse? The offensive linemen. They did worse than the kickers. Yeah, 15 points compared to 20, but the kickers let up more points. Really crazy if you think about it. Then the Buccaneers right behind them. Who was the best out of it? It was still the Chargers, right? Yeah, I think the Chargers might have a playoff spot as a 10 seed, maybe a wild card game. And even the Bears. Yeah, looking at the playoff bracket on the left side, we have the Broncos that made it, which means the tight ends. They somehow snuck in there. I didn't see that coming. And then the Chargers are the fourth seed. So we got the quarterbacks and tight ends. 
And is that it? Yeah, that's it. So it's just on these two teams. Before we hop in the games though, we gotta see the stats and you know, see who played the best. So Taysom Hill was actually the fourth best quarterback in the league with 3,800 yards, 30 touchdowns and 18 interceptions. He had a crazy advantage, man. He got very lucky. He's a two dimensional player, two you know, position player. Then the next best quarterback is gonna be Tyreek Hill who threw for 44 interceptions and 24 touchdowns. And then after him, Mahomes, he did horrible. I'm surprised about that. Bates right behind him. Derrick Henry, he had 42 interceptions. Sauce Gardner, he's 27th. And the worst, of course, is uh, Justin Tucker by a lot. Actually, no, low-key 63 interceptions for Trent Williams. And then Watt was kind of quiet. Rushing-wise, Lamar Jackson actually finished fifth, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, 13 touchdowns for him, 1,400 yards. George Kittle, he had 1,300 yards. And he willed that team to the playoffs, which is dope. Jalen Ramsey, he had 1,200 yards and 18 touchdowns. And then who did the worst? Wow, yeah, man, dude. <laughs> Harrison Bucker had negative 50 yards on 120 attempts. That means every time he ran it, he was guaranteed to lose half a yard. Or half, yeah, half a yard. Uh, no, point, point 0.4 yard, which is, like I think a quarter less. All right, and then for the O-line, lame-ass tonsil and then Tristan Wirfs, they couldn't get anything either. Receiving-wise, TJ Hawkinson, you know, he had, you know, Taysom Hill passing to him, so he had uh, the best yards out of all the receivers with a 1,000. And next up, it's probably going to be not even close, right? Oh, yeah, for the wide receivers, Tyreek Hill threw to St. Brown for 900 yards, which is dope. Then yeah, the tight ends again. I don't know, man. It's a, it's a toss-up between the tight ends and the cornerbacks. I don't know who has it, though. What I do know is Xavier McKinney, he had the most interceptions with 14. And Jamal Adams, he had 12. So the strong safeties, free safeties, they did their thing on defense, but it wasn't enough. My guy Young Ho Koo, though, he had two interceptions. That's, that's what's up. And kicking-wise, the offensive lineman Sam Cosme, Cosmic Brownie, he had uh, only two made, four attempts, but the worst percentage was somehow an actual punter, a real-life punter. He went two for eight as a, as a kicker which I don't know why he was playing kick kicker, but yeah, pretty, pretty pathetic things, man. Really bad. But he was the best punter. I will say he got 8,100 yards punting, which is better than everyone else. So the Chargers were the 25th best offense and seventh best defense. It is time to hop in these games. Our first one is going to be the Broncos and Steelers. I mean, the issue is the Steelers are 15 and two, so they have a crazy advantage. I don't know how we got matched up against them. They kind of messed up. Yeah, we have not scored yet. Yo, we gotta score something, bro. Ah, we don't got enough time. Seven to 17, we do not have enough time and we get taken out in the wild card game. Taysom Hill, bro, you played good all season, but when it mattered most, you couldn't. The Chargers are our last hope. The cornerbacks are the last position to survive and we're up against the Jets who are 11 and six, but we have a better defense than them. So we better hope that we get a pick six first or, or like 10 pick sixes this game because on offense, we're not gonna be able to hang, bro. Oh my God, it's 17 to zero. We are not scoring at all. Don't tell me this is it, man. Oh, we came so far. We were both 11 and six, but we got blown out, man. 27 to seven is crazy. Damn, bro. Sauce Gardner, you sold me, man. That man had three interceptions. And then rushing-wise, Jalen Ramsey, he has 60 yards, but it just wasn't enough. And it ends up being the Falcons going all the way. The uh, MVP was Tyler Huntley, and the offensive player of the year was Damian Pierce. Damn, we had no award winners. But we know this now for sure. The best NFL position, players-wise, is either tight end or cornerback. Y'all can decide in the comments what you think is better. I mean, in my opinion, I still think it's tight end.